What time is it in Antarctica? Trick question. Antarctica has no time, and the reason why will blow your mind. Again. You see, that's actually a trick question, because technically, Antarctica has no time. It's the only continent on our entire planet without any official time zones. Now, you're probably thinking, how is that even possible? Well, it all comes down to a little bit of geography. Imagine a globe, all those lines of longitude that run from the North Pole to the South Pole. Those are the lines that we use to define time zones all over the world. But what happens when you get to the very bottom of the Earth, at the South Pole? Every single one of those lines converges at a single point. So, strangely, you could say Antarctica is in every single time zone at the same moment. It's a place where time, as we know it, just kind of collapses on itself. But there's another reason why traditional timekeeping doesn't really work down there. Think about how we experience time. Our days are defined by the rising and setting of the sun. But in Antarctica, that cycle is completely different. Because of its extreme polar location, it experiences something called polar day and polar night. In the summer, the sun stays up in the sky for 24 hours a day, for months on end. It just circles the horizon, never dipping below it. And in the winter, it's the opposite. The continent is plunged into complete darkness for months, with no sunrise. So, if there's no daily sunrise or sunset, What's the point of having a clock that says 8 a.m. or 6 p.m.? It becomes pretty much useless. So, how do the thousands of scientists and support staff who live and work there manage their daily lives? If there's no official time, how do they schedule meetings, meal times, or even just know when to go to bed? The solution is actually quite simple and a little chaotic. Each research station just picks a time zone to follow. They're completely free to choose whichever one they want and most of them just default to the time zone of the country that operates the station. For example, the American research stations, like McMurdo Station, typically run on New Zealand Standard Time because that's their main supply hub. But other American stations might use Chilean time. Russian stations use Moscow time. The British stations use Greenwich Mean Time. The Chinese stations use Beijing time. This creates a really bizarre situation where you could have two research bases, just a few miles apart from each other, but their clocks could be separated by 12 or even 15 hours. You could literally walk over to your neighbor's place and travel into the future or the past. It's a continent that literally exists outside of our human construct of time, a place governed not by clocks, but by logistics and the rhythm of science. It's a fascinating reminder that the way we measure our world is just that, a measurement, not a fundamental law of the universe. If you found that interesting, Make sure to hit that subscribe button for 